forget the words of Marcus Mosiah Garvey celebrating his 132nd birthday today. Marcus Garvey says, if we as a people realize the greatness from which we came, we would be less likely to disrespect ourselves. Talking about placing a fire, it's now for the awardees for tonight. And we have some very wonderful awardees. We're going to start with the first awardee, who is Dr. Milton Tomlinson. Yes. He shares the same first name as my father, so he's special. Yes, he is. Milton Tomlinson, or Jackie, as he is known to most, entered Excelsior High School in Jamaica in September 1969 with a dream of one day becoming a dentist. Dr. Tomlinson spent five very happy years at Excelsior where he represented the school in football. After graduation, he migrated to New York in 1974. After returning to Jamaica in 1997, Milton returned to the United States in 1999 and has been in private practice ever since in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Right here, round of applause. He is a member of the Charity Organization for International Development based in New York and has made several volunteer missions back to Jamaica to provide free dental care to the people of rural Jamaica. Yes, yes, round of applause for that. Dr. Tomlinson has also guest lectured in the area of gum disease at Northern Caribbean University in Jamaica. In addition to all of his professional accomplishments throughout the years, Dr. Tomlinson is also an active member of the South Florida community where he has coached youth soccer since 1999 and he has quietly sponsored many community programs including this one, the annual Marcus Garvey Extravaganza put on by the Roots Foundation Incorporated here in Florida. Please, our first awardee for tonight, Dr. Milton Tomlinson. So, this plaque reads, Marcus Garvey, Roots Extravaganza, 2019 Marcus Garvey Community Service Award, presented by Roots Foundation, Inc., to Dr. Milton Tomlinson for your exceptional and exemplary contribution to the Caribbean-American community. My virgin don't like the term Caribbean-American. He said this man's name is a Pan-African, so no disrespect, <laughs> sir. Okay. Saturday, August 17, 2019. Mr. President, do the honors. Yeah, man, it is truly an honor. You know, I'm a big brother, so it's a privilege, right? Milton. Say a few words. I do the work that I do with a lot of joy. I enjoy it next to the family, next to football, is the service. Um, Healthcare service, community service, people who come to my office know that uh, oftentimes they come in for dental care, but they get, end up getting mental care. <laughs> 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 An America need it right now, mental care. I always have time for them, they call me on Sundays. The only time them don't get me out of the house to come take care of them is if we have labor. So this is a severe, uh, sincere, uh, humbling experience, and um, as I receive it humbly, I see a man who is on the schedule today to also receive an honor. Carl Bill Butts, a man who. A man who had such a profound influence on me that I'm going to have to talk to him after. <laughs> but we came from the same Richmond Park community, ended up at Excelsior. His two things are giant since uh, childhood. And the first was the African Culture Club that Ogi, as we call him, Ogie, um, Antoinette Horton, I remember.
member specifically, and another Virgin DJ. And I want to say thanks for the mentorship, Virgin. With this award, I accept it all. Round of applause for our first awardee for tonight, Dr. Tomlinson. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, moving forward now with our second awardee for tonight, Sister Valerie Phil Potts, a.k.a. Sister Simeon. Yeah, I'm from the tribe of Simeon, so I have to represent. Sister Valerie Phil Potts, affectionately known as Sister Simeon, was born in Kingston, Jamaica in 1952 to Winston and Violet Fisher. From the tender age of 16, she and her schoolmates at Excelsior High School, including her future husband, brought the needs of our youth to the principal for the African history to be taught in school. She, along with 12 other male students, led a delegation to Mr. Wesley Powell, the principal under the banner of Marcus Garvey's crime. And it quotes, a people without the knowledge of their own history, origin, and culture, is like a tree without roots. Ah. In 1968, they became the first group of students in high school to obtain the right to establish an African history and cultural club on campus. This was really the seedbed for many Rastafari and other Pan-African-minded youth in high school. Prior to this, Sister Valerie Simeon was one of the young sisters who performed at the National Stadium in honor of Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie I's state visit to Jamaica in 1966. Sister Valerie was appointed to do the catering for the 2,000 VIP guests at the 60th birthday celebration for Bob Marley in Addis Ababa. She supervised the feeding of these guests by employing many brothers and sisters from Shashamani who were elated by the opportunity. She has also done teacher training workshops for teachers at the Jamaica Rastafarian Development Community School in Shashamani. In Ethiopia, she has also built a home in Shashamani and works closely as a part of the JRDC team, operating an educational institution, providing education for 400 children for over 18 years. Round of applause. She is one of the few who have recently secured residency permits to live and work in Ethiopia. Round of applause for this sister. I'm so proud to welcome our second awardee, Sister Valerie Bilbao, a.k.a. Sister Simeon. And this plaque reads, the 2019 Ruth Prescott Community Service Award presented by Roots Foundation Inc. to Valerie Simeon Philpotts for your exceptional and exemplary contribution to the Pan-African community. Saturday, August 17, 2019. Afternoon, and as Marcus Garvey said, a people without knowledge of their past yes. history and culture is like, like a tree without a root. root. So, those are the words that I would like us to take from me today because without roots, we cannot stand. Without and, yeah. and so, it is my honor, and I do accept humbly. You're choosing me to present this award to me because as I just see myself as a servant, a worker, in part of God's kingdom. Amen. So, Brother Jabalani, Brother, I give thanks. Please, a round of applause for the only sister receiving an award equal tonight in honor of Marcus Garvey. We continue now with our third awardee. It is Brother Carl Philpotts. Yes, 
Brother Carl Courtney Philpott, also known as Carl Neftali, was born in Kingston, Jamaica in 1952. He has been a part of the Ethiopianist tradition and Rastafari movement from the tender age of 15 in 1969 he became a member of the Ethiopian World Federation Charter, 15 and 12 tribes of Israel. Round of applause for that. Founded in Jamaica by Vernon Carrington, also known as Prophet Gab. One of his first books published was The Selected Utterances of Marcus Garvey. I know that book. Carl Philpotts is the current president of the Shashamani Settlement Community Development Foundation a nonprofit 501c3 established in the United States in 1998. It stated its mission is to create awareness and garner support for the repatriate community in Shashamani in the areas of education, healthcare, agriculture, recreation, and to promote relationship between them and the diaspora community. The foundation has worked with the Shashamani community to establish the Jamaica Rastafari Development Community Kindergarten and Elementary School that has a current school population of roughly 400 students and 32 members of staff, of which the majority are native Ethiopians. Ladies and gentlemen, our third awardee for tonight in honor of Marcus Garvey. Of course, we know him as Brother Carl Philpott, also known as Carl Nathali. Round of applause, please. Yeah, and this one says 2019 Marcus Garvey Community Service Award presented by Roots Foundation Inc. to Carl Naptali Philpots for your exceptional and exemplary contribution to the Pan African community. Not true? Saturday, August 17, 2019. Priest. Yeah, man, this is Brother Carl. The man who is responsible for the GRDC school along with his wife. And he has done so much in the Washington community and beyond. In Jamaica, wherever Brother Carl passed through, you leave him mark. Brother Carl, give that. Yes, before I proceed, I just would like to make a minor correction. Brother Carl is not the one and since I responsible for the school in Ethiopia, it was a collective effort. And through the grace of the Most High God, I promise him that whenever we are applauded and exalted for what has been accomplished there in Ethiopia, we'll give the credit to him. Because through him, we have our being and our existence. So we say, this is the school that Jah built. So, so before yeah. anybody get jealous or talk, I think so making that clear. Okay. Um, well, first I'd like to give thanks to Priest Dougie and um, Brother Jabalani. Brother Jabalani, we go way back. I'm not going to make a long speech, brother. But we go way back. Way back, way back. Um, just to see, we can even recognize some of the people who we haven't seen for a long time. <laughs> When I look at the months of men, I'm really getting old. <laughs> because everybody has transformed into, you know, silver. Okay. <laughs> so, 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 it's not about planting a forest. It's about planting a tree. It's not about putting up the great building, but laying a block. So, within your capacity, the little you can do can benefit men in Africa. The school has just merely like $45,000 a year to pay 32 members of staff in Ethiopia. That is the salary of one teacher here. So we're showing you your potential. Don't look at waiting for the millions to come to do anything. Just start now. Please few words like your thanks.